entirety. I have really, really made some great gains with this program. So I'm just going to go through uh, some of the things I didn't touch on in my recent update uh, videos or in my 30 day update videos. I finished the program about a week ago. So but after the 30 days and I got into the month two of the workouts or part two of the workouts, it got ridiculous. Y'all, I'm so serious. Um, the workouts to me doubled in intensity. So from month one, even though month one was intense and I lost most of my fat in month one, month two was ridiculous. And it was all about conditioning, getting your cardiovascular system way up, your plyometrics, um, also your HIIT training. Uh, I feel like a straight athlete. And on top of that, um, I also ordered the Insanity Deluxe workouts. So I also went ahead and got those. So I had the Max Interval Sports Training, the Insane Abs, and the Upper Body Weight Training. So those were also added to my repertoire, um, especially that Max Interval Sports Training and Insane Abs. What I found was I was really, really, really exhausted after my workouts. Um, these were workouts almost doubled in the time because the, the actual workout times on the first month were about, I want to say anywhere from about 30 to no more than 40 minutes with stretch and cool down. Uh, but with these, it was a straight hour just about on all the workouts. I was getting uh, my system to where it needed to be because you all know now I'm into my marathon training. So I overlap that training with the last few weeks of, in, of insanity. So I'm actually into week three of marathon training for a full, full out 26.2 mile marathon in the woodlands coming up in March. That helped with my cardio because with my runs, I'm able to run longer without getting tired. So it really did increase that. I'm going to have to say too, uh, a warning. Month two is no punk. Even if it was hard for you to get through month one, you might want to take your time slowly easing into month two. Still keep up with your schedule, but don't kill yourself if you don't feel that you're exercising to your full potential. Um, it was hard for me that first week, but I eventually caught on with everything. Uh, you can see that the people even on the video were tired, like super tired, like they're even stopping during the workouts. Uh, I used one of the people, Anna. So if you've done the workouts, Anna um, was someone who was the most motivating for me in month two because the girl is like a machine. Like she worked harder than almost everybody, even the men in the DVD. So I was very motivated with her. So you might want to pick somebody on the video that you can really relate to that has like your same type body. Me and Anna are pretty on the same, pretty much on the same length as far as body type. So I also wanted to try to aim for her level of fitness. So that's what I did. I also have a support group. I had a lot of people that have been doing insanity with me. So it was really good to have have other people that were going through it or that had gone through it that could tell me things that I could do to increase um, my help and potential with this program. I also use the Elite Nutrition Program. So um, a lot of you all have asked me about that since you know I live a mainly pesco vegetarian life. They give you vegetarian alternatives. So a lot of times where there was meat or, or things like that in the meal plan because you get so many meals like it's not just like a day by day meal plan you get like five to ten breakfast meals and you can rotate those as you please but there's like five meals for each one and what I did was I just went in the back where they said there were substitutions and I sub substituted things like fish um, like tofu things like that that I could do instead of meat um, anything that was lean protein as well keep up with your lean protein I also replaced um, things such as some of the smoothies they had with some of my taste in smoothies. I prefer very green smoothies with wheatgrass or um, things like that. Those will be coming up on my second channel, Beautiful Brown Baby Doll 2. I've already started taping everything that you all will need. That will be a longer vlog over there. So you'll have that information. Guys, I'm very happy with my six pack. I have never, never, ever been able to see abs. Even, in, and this is crazy, like I've been able to see like the outline, the thought of them, maybe they're there, I hope they're there, those are cool. It was kind of like that. <laughs> it wasn't like I knew my abs. So even when I eat food, like women, y'all know about this, when you eat and then your stomach stretches out, even though I feel like I get to that point, I can still see 
the indentations of my abs. I'm very happy with my midsection. Um, even though I was already a smaller girl going into this and I didn't really lose a lot of weight per se, I lost a lot. I seared a lot of fat off my body and it was mainly in the thighs, in my stomach area. Um, I can also see it in my face and my arms are even more toned than they were before. Um, so I see like the big differences in fat, which is what you want to lose. You want to lose fat. Um, a lot of times you can't just go by the scale numbers because especially if you're already at a weight that's close to healthy for you, you're not going to see big gains as far as weight loss. You're going to see more toning, more abdominal structures, more, uh, you know, a little bit more lifting. I be warned your breast will go with this program. <laughs> Uh, even though my breasts got smaller, they also lifted. So I felt that there were a lot of benefits to this program. I prefer a more athletic shape. I prefer a shape that looks um, womanly, but yet it's not overly womanly. I feel that my body has reached a level where it's health athletically healthy. And so for me to come up on seven years of keeping this weight off, these types of challenges are needed. Um, I would advise that if you're going to do Insanity, you make sure that you have soft structures to jump on. I also went to Sam's and bought one of those puzzle piece uh, soft mats. So if you go there, just tell them you're looking for the puzzle piece mats to work out on. That mat cost me 20 bucks and it was advised to me by someone that had done Insanity before. So if you want to keep it in the house, it's something that's extra padding for all the jumping, to protect your knees, to protect your ankles, to protect your feet and your heels. It's really good because I'm flat footed. So jumping up and down on flat feet is not the business. So I advise that you get that, guys. That's what it is. I feel that this program has been very beneficial for me. I will do it again after the marathon, which is March 2nd. I'm also still doing Insanity in a way because I only run four days a week. So in between those days, I'm also doing Insanity workouts just randomly. Whichever one I'm really feeling like doing, I'm doing. And not necessarily feeling. Whatever challenge I'm up for, I'm doing. Um, so I'm incorporating it as a hybrid, if you will. I think I'm also going to try to hybrid in the P90X because I have that system as well. I did Turbo Fire last weekend. 30-minute hit training on that. So I'm finding that Throwing in a little bit of each one is keeping my body guessing. It's that muscle confusion. My body is gaining from it. And my body is looking good. I'm really proud of myself for all of the work I've come through. And anybody that has done Insanity, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. This is not a workout. I'm doing jumping jacks. No. I'm doing push-ups. I'm doing sit-ups. No. This gives you a whole nother look at fitness. John T, I ain't playing with you. Nobody that gets on. I mean, if you're really looking to work, you're going to work. And so, I mean, if y'all have any other questions about Insanity, place them below. Uh, I'll also be addressing it on my blog, which will be releasing here pretty soon, www.beautifulbrownbabydoll.com. Y'all might just catch me walking past you in a swimming suit. I don't know. I just love it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much uh, for staying tuned. Beautiful brown baby doll. Hey,